Welcome back to the garage here at Basin Motorsports. So we're getting back today working on the 86 Fox Body Mustang hatchback that I pulled out of a field a couple years ago. Now I left you last time we had, or I was just about to complete the primer on this. Now remember this car was pulled out of a field, it had a lot of surface rust, so we had to uh, basically strip it down, get rid of all the surface rust on the exterior of the car and I have then uh, primered it with etch primer, did body filler, sanded it back down, and now I have completed the primer, uh, covering up all the body filler and anything I went through when I re-sanded it. So at this point, it's sanded to approximately 220 grit, still rough to the surface, so you can kind of hear it. Still rough there, so it needs to be finished, but the next piece in line was going to be working on the body side trim the body molding, if you want to call it that, and getting that refinished. So here's what the body side molding looks like on the car. Everything is well adhered, so I'm taking the time to really do all the painting and refinishing of it while it's on the car. If it was peeling off or anything else, or I'd have to re-adhere it, I would have pulled everything off and risked breaking the studs in the front pieces or the back. So, but since everything is well adhered, I'm going to choose to paint this on the car. So these are the steps I'm taking to go forward looking at this body side molding. You notice that these lot, a lot of these moldings really are in pretty good shape. There's no big gouges on them, no big scratches on them. Anything that you can kind of see here that is a little bit of worn just from age, you can take 400 grit sandpaper and sand it down. And so I did that on the other side. I'll show you prior to paint, but this is what they look like as after I pulled it out of a field. You can see a little, little bit of pitting, not bad though, but I'll take this and do a 400 grit sandpaper just going over it just to kind of smooth it out really. It'll also rough up the surface if it's kind of worn down a little bit to give it a good grip for paint adhesion. Now once you sand all of the pieces as you need to, you can then take acetone with just a blue uh, shop rag or a paper towel as you want to call it. Wipe it down to make sure you get all the oils, greases, anything else off of this. Now I'm also going to put on blue painter's tape on the top side, on the back, the bottom, and the front. So I just leave the molding exposed. Now this is the opposite side of the car so it's already been done. I did this a few days ago already. So you can see painter's tape all the way around the vehicle or all the way around the molding itself. This was sanded with 400 grit. I cleaned it with acetone twice to make sure that I got all the contaminants off that would spoil the paint. And then I hit it with uh, two coats of SEM 39153, which is charcoal gray. And that is the correct color. It's a bumper coater. Uh, that is the correct color and texture for the 85, 86 Mustangs. So if I show you kind of go, going down the piece, you can see same thing. Now I did each individual piece separately. So I sanded, acetone cleaned, then painted. But you can see just going piece by piece to ensure I had good coverage on each. Um, a little heavier coat on the beginning just to make sure that it had a good adhesion plus it dried and then you can just kind of finish up with a lighter second coat but it does come out very well if you take your time piece by piece when i say blue paper towel what i mean is these shop towels you can buy these don't leave lint behind so if you take your time with the acetone again it can be bought over the counter at any of the home improvement stores or probably at even walmart you can buy it but you just pour a little on here, wear rubber gloves because acetone is kind of acidic. Um, it's really not good for your skin. So you can wipe them down with this. It took me two different times. Again, these moldings are 30 years old, at least 35 years old. Um, so just after sanding, especially give them a good cleaning, make sure that the paper towel shows you that they are clean. And then you can spray them directly with bumper coater. This is again, 39153, there you go. I'll put a link to the description, probably jumping over to Amazon, so you can at least find and know what you're looking for. You may buy, be able to buy it locally versus online, but I'll give you a link to that so you know. And then uh, on these, it says 
clearly on the can there is no adhesion promoter required so I will I'll tell you it went on smooth painting everything looks very good uh, I did not use an adhesion prom adhesion promoter that is hard to say an adhesion promoter as the can says and so far so good it looks very good after two coats I'm really happy with the coverage and the color on it again I want to use this um, on the door window surround so let me show you that this is the door window surround it's the same exact paint I sanded with 1000 grit everywhere that this is painted gray and again sail panel will go right here that will be refinished in the same exact paint out of the same can or you know a local can of the 39153 the metal has been primed and painted all the way around there again and then the wrap when it comes up it will come up and tuck over to this edge the molding on the windows around the quarter and the regular window plus refinishing the mirror with 39153 so all of this will match the same color front and rear bumpers the headlight buckets uh, I will do the antenna in the same color. I will do the cowl grill in the same color. The front uh, windshield molding, the hatchback window molding. Every single piece will take this 39153. So I'm going to say you're probably going to need, if you're going to this extent, working on all the little pieces, the handles, etc., you will probably need at least two, maybe three cans. And I'm going to probably order another two at least. Uh, to ensure I make this because if you order online it's gonna take days to get here so with the passenger side done I can then uh, I've shifted the painting booth over so then I now have more room on the driver's side to complete the same thing clean with acetone I need to finish uh, taping I ran out of painters tape uh, get that taped cleaned painted get the door surround sanded and painted and then I think at that point, I will recover all the molding in blue painter's tape to start getting ready for all the body sanding, the cleaning, and then getting ready for the wrap. So I will wrap the car. Uh, I think at that point, it's going to be a lot more efficient to get uh, all the little pieces done. So I won't be in the booth anymore with the car because I won't need to sand or paint at that point. I'm probably going to reduce the size of the booth and just slide it over into the next bay so I'll have more like a, a 10 by 10 by 8 tall booth to paint, sand, and do all the pieces extra. Sail panels, uh, cowl grill, even the front and rear bumper I can do that in a 10 by 10 versus the 10 by 18 or 20 I'm sitting at right now. Now one other thing I will mention is that I did get in uh, the 3D printer I ordered. So this one came out of, gosh, I don't want to say it's the name's wrong, Prussia, Prussia. Uh, it comes out of the Czech Republic. Took two days to get here, which I was really shocked at. That was their quote, and it actually came in in two days from the Czech Republic all the way out to Oregon, where I am. So I have not set it up yet. Uh, I would really, I'll tell you what, I want to put it and set it up out here. And as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff for the car still there so once I get the booth get the car finished up ready to wrap and I don't have any more sanding or painting I am going to back the car out I will reduce the size of this booth in half so that way I don't block this door over here I will reduce it down in half um, and then I can wrap the car outside of that and then keep my booth there for all the extra sanding painting all the refinishing there that I need to do on bumper, hood, sail panels, cow grill, handles, yada, 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 all the other stuff. So while it's not much, I feel like I'm making progress finally, getting things done, kind of like checked off, that I don't have to come back to. The wrap on the car, I tell you, once I get it sanded to 1500 grit and get it ready to go, I really feel like I am gonna blast through the wrap uh, and get it all done and then I think at that point, you know, since I have all the other interior pieces, I am probably going to put all the interior back in this car because I don't have anything else in. So I'll refinish the headliner, order a new carpet, new hatch, uh, clean the seats. I don't think I'm going to replace the upholstery on it yet. 
that may be something in the future, uh, get a dash pad done. And then I've got all the kind of the small pieces to go from there. But I would like to really to get as much of this car assembled back together to, I guess, really just kind of clean up the shop of parts laying around. Because that's the one of the thing that I still feel like I've got everything spread out too far. If I can start getting it all back on the car, it means it's not at risk of getting damaged anywhere else. And it just feels good to kind of see it going back together after two years. So hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions on uh, painting your molding, again, this is just a color. The 39153 for SEM is the, the color code. I love SEM products. They have been very good uh, on all the Fox Mustang stuff I've done. I probably will do the same on the Porsche stuff I'm going to get into later this year. But if you have any questions on the process or you need more detail, just let me know. Drop it in the comments. Again, check the description. I'll have a link for the SEM products paper towels, acetone, anything there. You might be able to order it all off Amazon and I'll find out and drop links below so you guys can at least, uh, if you don't want to order it there, you can at least click on it and go look at it to see what it is and check pricing and then availability local to you maybe a little easier. So with that, we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by here at Basin Motorsports and go do some work. It's time.